Yesterday was day five and today is day off because it's New Year's Day. First of January. Here's a mixer for the paint which I will be using. And if that doesn't work then here is another mixer for paint. <laughs> so today I am going to be painting. It's gonna be nice and quiet because they are all having a recovery day from their party last night. Here's a cement floor in the bathroom. I've done that yesterday. It's already, already solid. Very good. Very solid. Shower over there. And uh, that's gonna be, what's that gonna be? Oh, that's the geezer or the boiler. And then the sink will be over here with those two pipes there, hot and cold. Uh, toilet and bathtub with hot and cold. And then that's where the light's gonna be, right in the middle of the ceiling. So you can see the dry, dry wood, dry, dry board. The dry board is already up. And um, the stuff that, the insulation, it looks like this, that is above the dry board up in the ceiling there. And the same is also here. They put the dry board up and insulation is above that. Cool. So they did not cement this as I thought they would have done. So I can't actually paint the whole room properly. Kind of wondering if I shouldn't actually start. Yeah, kind of wondering about that. They've done a bit of cement work, but looks like they ran out of cement. I can't wait for this to be a door. I think that would be so great because we, there won't be this thing. There will just be two big panes of glass all the way down to the floor. So lots more light coming in. It will feel pretty good. Also, I realized that this little bush shrub can actually be uprooted and it doesn't have to be chopped, you know, it can just be uprooted and planted somewhere else. Cool. Here's the paint. 25 liters. Here we go. 25 liters is, oh wait, it's 25 kilograms is 16 liters. And that is 80 lever, which is 40, 40 uh, euros. And that should be enough for most of the house, probably not quite all of it. Cool, so that's the update for day five. Ah, oh, they've put the profile in here already. Pretty good for the ceiling. And um, this unit was up there and they had to take it down so that they can put the profile ceiling up there, which is great because this is gonna be a beautiful uh, surface which will need a new surface here. Um, but I'm gonna use that probably in the kitchen. I don't know if this table can be saved. <laughs> it looks pretty bad. They were using it as a ladder. Um, but that's okay. There's a bunch of other tables that I can use. Um, there's one over there. Uh, can't see the other one. Somewhere. Oh, there's a nice little um, coffee table over there. Yeah. It's hard to see anything in here. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop looking now. I don't know what that is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I think I'm gonna start with this. This is the base layer that you paint onto walls so that the paint sticks properly. Okay, off I go. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. So cement has been not quite done. Um, so there's, there's a lot of cement still missing. I think I'm actually not gonna start painting until they do that because this is a large chunk. I mean, I guess I could do that wall, but even that wall is not done properly. There's no point in me starting to paint. 
Okay. I'm going to wait for them to do <clears throat> the cement work. I mean, I could do that patch, but you know, I think I'm just going to wait. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I could do the ceiling actually. Yeah, maybe I'll do. No. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait until they put cement on there and there. And uh, there. So um, I'm not going to start painting today. I guess I'm going to start painting. Uh, oh no, Monday. Okay, but they did do the cement in the bathroom. So cement floor looks good. And it's the toilet, it's the bathtub, sink, two pipes beans hot cold. A uh, geezer or a boiler and shower. Yay! Such a cool little bathroom. It's pretty great. I like the size. Happy, happy, happy. Um, this one still looks the same. Same, 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 same. Oh, except for ceiling profiles up. And uh, that big storage cabinet has come down from there. So I'll use that as a beautiful counter. I just need to fix the top of it. Um, and that'll just be storage and counter space and I'll probably end up putting it in the kitchen as part of the living room um, space. Yeah, lots of cables, lots of cables and I guess I'll be back tomorrow. Cool. Update on the water that was in the this little water meter place. That's Paul thought it was a leak but all gone now. I don't know how they got that out. It's not been that hot. It wouldn't have dried. They put some cement here and some dogs have walked in it. Oh, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, and I was really looking forward to painting today. Gah. That's okay. No paint. No paint today. Paint another day. Maybe they are planning to like put cement all the way down there. Who knows? No idea. Okay, so that is a little pathway coming out to the orangery garden. Um, there's a couple tiles here, which Paul suggested to just break up and put it in the driveway so that there's not so much mud and then put gravel on top. So this is actually a decent place to put some wood. It's covered. It would be protected from the weather. And then this is the little house I was kind of thinking to destroy, <laughs> to dismantle, because it looks ugly and I don't think I need it. There's a massive barn over there with all sorts of storage, so yeah, I mean it's not urgent so I'll leave it for now, but kind of thinking to take that out. And here's my little garden, orangery, garden, neighbors. Yeah, pretty cool. This is another little shed right at the edge corner. This is the east. And this is in the east corner, east north. So this is where they had some animals, probably a pig or something. And then this is where the roof has fallen in. Yeah, so this will definitely be taken down. very old and just yeah that needs to be removed there's a couple of extra bricks could probably use that for the driveway <laughs> and yeah a bunch of stuff that can be reused here um this is opa, another entrance to um that back back area, the back garden, with that shed that I'm not sure what to do with. So you can see the orangery over there. So I've just come around the other side. And this is where they've been digging the trench or the canal or whatever you want to call it, going way out there to the septic tank. The septic tank will be in the east. And I think that is where the bathroom, no, 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 there, 
there's the hole from the toilet so it'll come down here and uh yeah so i guess they moved all of this stuff um i wonder where that all went i hope they didn't throw out the blue barrels that i really want <sighs> that would be really annoying if they did there's that treasure chest that i saw the other day Oh, they wouldn't have thrown up the blue barrels. It must be underneath there somewhere. Okay, so here we are. They're working on the roof and I'm trying to find my way through the mud, balancing on the cement. But looky, looky, roof is being done. And there's some wooden planks because there were not enough wooden planks lying around on the property there to get new ones. So I guess they're all gonna be ending up up there. On the roof. Uh, for the roof. For the roof. And the chimney is probably going to have to be redone because it's leaning pretty bad. And also, I think it was. I'm not sure if it was leaking or not. Okay, so here is the kitchen. They've now put cement all over the pipework. But they're going to do another layer of cement because. Um, it's not smooth, it's a, it's the wrong type of cement. So um, Paul is saying he needs to use satin, satin gips to go over it. And I'm gonna ask Paul about that. And otherwise, yeah, the room has been cemented, but it needs another layer to smooth it all up. And then this is still needing to come out. Uh, so yeah, not ready for paint is basically what I'm saying. Paint is still not going to happen anytime soon. But it looks better, doesn't it? There it is. Okay, so nothing has changed in here. All the same, same. Um, roof profile is up, but no um, insulation yet. Cables in, but as you can see, they've been cut because of this um, ceiling profile. So yeah, it's it's coming together, but just a little bit more slowly now, which is fine. It's no problem. Okay, the ceiling. This apparently needs to be completely ripped down because they can't put a profile against the window. So this needs to be ripped down completely and replaced. And the same for this one, completely removed because uh, they can't put a profile on the window here. And here we are in the uh, bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom. Nothing has changed in here. I can't reach the ceiling, it's nice and high up. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, okay, so nothing new in here. And uh, I think that's it. I don't have any other, nothing else going on. That's it. I've just found out this is my door. I thought it was a bookcase, but this is actually a door. You can see door handle. <laughs> and it's going to go into this door frame here. That is a door. <laughs> So I'm quite happy with everything. Um, the only thing that is a little annoying is that the doors are not quite high enough. I actually need to stoop to get through the door frame, um, which is a pity, but I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Yeah, so the door frames are just, I hit my head. Um, let me turn the camera around. So this is, this is me hitting my head up against the door frame. Um, five centimeters? I don't know. Anything taller would have been great, but no big deal. Okay, so Paul just said that this is not a problem because they're fixing the chimney up there, so all this needs is just a bit of ceiling. Um, is it glossy ceiling or they're gonna do cement anyway, and then I'm gonna put the base coat on, so really that's not an issue at all. And uh, new chimney, so no problem. Believe that, Nesca, do it.
Так, New roof that's covering the waterproof felt. Yeah, new roof. Looky, looky. And all the straw is coming down. Not all of it. No, no, no. Some of it. Okay, so this roof, it's not going to be super straight because getting it like super straight will cost a lot of money because of time. It's just, um, you know, leveling it out. It's extra time and effort. And so anyway, um, it's going to be waterproof and um, and just not straight but there's not going to be any tiles slipping or anything um, it'll all be secure just not straight <laughs> I don't think that's a big deal I think that's fine as long as it's you know waterproof and no tile slipping seems pretty good to me this one is going to be completely replaced new one it's going to come up there and all of this wood is going to end up there, inside the roof. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. Huh? Let's see if the battery the for the douche is okay with the turbine. The donkey. You know, for the distance. Sink. Shower. Sink. Okay. Yeah. They've made more progress on the roof. There you go. And uh, today is the 7th of January. And still no leak in there, so I guess that leak is fixed. And here are the new tiles that are actually old tiles. They just got rescued from an abandoned house, I believe. And here's some guttering. And this is the ceiling that's come down from the hallway. So that's already been ripped down. Let's go have a look. Alright, so... Ta-da! Ceiling is out. And that is where the roof is broken. You can see it's cracked. Look at this. So you can see where the waterproof insulation is. So the side done. The side not yet done. And this needs to be replaced. So you can see there's some straw in the roof there. And insulation there. It's pretty great. And this still looks the same, same. Same, 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 same. Same, same, same. And then that's one bedroom, and then this is the second bedroom. This also kind of looks the same. Although, yeah, it kind of looks the same. So he hasn't put any new cement. On yet it's still rough so nothing new yet except for the roof which is a big deal so this is the last time I'm gonna see this roof like this from this angle I think it looks pretty cool and of course looking out here looks really great now because all of those curtains and blinds have gone look at that Uh, nothing's changed in this room. Same, 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 same. Same, same bathroom. Same, same in there. So, big roof work. These, these planks here, they're rotten. They need to be replaced. You can see this one is just falling and that it's just reeds. That all needs to be replaced. So, more wood required. 
<gasps> Other side looks beautiful. And this is going to be replaced by a completely new one, and it's going to be outside. This is for the electric. And the company is called EVM. Look at this beautiful, beautiful conservatory space. Look at this. What a beautiful, beautiful space. I'm so excited. It looks way better than it was with all those curtains and stuff. Happy! And this is what it looks from the outside. Look how beautiful that looks. Super straight. Beautiful new roof with insulation, waterproof felt insulation. Stunning stuff. So this pile is much smaller. All of that wood has already gone up there, as you can see. All the wood wandering up onto the roof. And soon these will also be going all up there. Really, really good progress. Super excited. We are now on the 12th of January and we've got the ceiling up and we're putting some, um, oh, I forgot what it's called now, silk, silk uh, cement, there we go. And this room looks actually a bit worse, more, more stuff has gone in here, sink, wow. What in the world is that? Well, it's not coming from the ceiling. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It looks like it's coming from there and I'm, I'm not gonna touch that. Cool, so this is the beautiful conservatory. And this is the beautiful entrance hall. Lovely entrance hall. Bathroom, same, 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 same. But the drain is in, is the drain in? The drain is in? Drain not in yet. No, the drains are in here. Yeah. Drains are in. Drain. Lots of bath, toilets, and the shower there. And shower, bath. that's a shower drain. That's a shower drain. Pretty great. Sink drain. Toilet. Bath drain. Bath drain. Bath drain. Okay. Oh, and the door is in. Look. Beautiful door. Yay, happy about that. And this room. This has been, oh, the ceiling is in with the um, insulation. So insulation is just above here. And they've put some, um, I guess this, the, yeah, the, so they've used silk cement on these ones, so it's more smooth. They've messed that up, unfortunately, but uh, anyway, okay, all right, every time I look at the windows, I'm more surprised how big they are, so they just seem every bigger every time I look at them, so that's really good news, I'm happy about that. Okay, and then this is the silk cement, it's not super smooth, but they will fix that, I'm sure. Okay, and this room. We've got the heater on. That's not going to stay like that. That's just temporary. And um, this is my kitchen. All the kitchen units. So here we've got all the kitchen stuff. And the sink. Okay, so that is some honey that has spilled. So it's apparently just honey but what i'm happy about with this is that it's got a drainage space here because some sinks come without a drainage space so i feel very happy about having that yay yeah this one looks a little worse for wear. maybe maybe the washing machine goes in this one I'm not sure anywho um 
so this room has not had the silk um, work yet to make it all smooth. That will still happen at some point. And this window has not been replaced by a door yet. So, still a lot to do. A lot to do. So this door kind of looks worse than that, I remember. But I'm sure it's fixable. Okay, so I've just found out that this has been an illegal connection to electricity. I don't think you can see clearly, but it's just like wrapped around there. So basically free electricity right now. That is what is happening here. That's all the trash. More trash. They've used a bunch of that wood as firewood now. And that is the view. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So if I have a patio going up till there with a roof up to there, I think that's a decent little space to sit right by the conservatory. I think that would be nice to do. I think that would be pretty good. And watch the village. Yeah, pretty good. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure what's going to happen with this window. Because I'm actually only getting two windows, I think. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to check. Okay, so roof is still the same. And uh, once they're done on the inside, they'll start doing the roof again. There's a cement mixer, roof tiles. Yeah, so the roof is still the same, same. Look at this. <laughs> All right, so the top part of that mud is frozen. There's a couple air bubbles. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is being dismantled. Already emptied out. There's a beehive in there. That's cool. Uh, but there is a fence missing, separating from the neighbors. So, yeah. Look at these cute little sprouts on the bricks. <laughs> Look at that. Adorable. Okay, excellent news. Look, 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 look. Are you seeing how beautiful smooth this is? Look, it's smooth. Oh, well, not this, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Ah, I'm so excited. This wall looks beautiful. I am going to be painting tomorrow. These things are gonna be moved this way so that I can get behind there to paint. And look what's happening. Everything's being cleaned. How exciting. I'm so excited. Next week, next week, this will be a door. Good news. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We bought a door handle today. Um, this all still looks same, same as yesterday, but they've just been working on smoothing this all out. So it's all smooth now. It's ready for painting. Um, 
Lucky, lucky, still working here. Oh, they're busy doing, look at that. So they're finishing this room now. I feel like I've heard my name in Rakia. Is that right? Oh, yeah. No, no, I saw that earlier that this is what you do. And I said, I've come to sell you your work in here. He says, oh, no, it's a Rakia. Rakia, hmm. It looks wonderful. This is being dealt with. And this is not staying. This is not staying. Funny drawings. All nice and smooth. So smooth. Smooth walls. Oh, I'm so happy about smooth walls. And this is still the same, same, same. Light's still the same place. Um, Paul said that he's going to be doing the tiling here because it's intricate work and he needs to make sure that it grades down towards here so that the water can go out um, easily. It's all going to be... So this will be flat over here, this will be flat over there, but then it will go downgrade into shower drain. Okay, super excited now. Look, it's all coming together. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sanding down this. It's all going to be sanded down. And I'm going to be painting this door red. It's going to be a red front door. That's going to be replaced, hopefully. I still need to find out. Um, and then this, all of these frames, they will be sanded down and be white. So we'll have beautiful white, bright conservatory with a red door. And the cat flap will be there. Oh, there. Maybe there. Probably there. Not sure. Yay, excited. And I did find out about that window. It's definitely also going to be a window. Oh, maybe we can fix that creaking. <laughs> so that window is definitely going to stay a window and not be boarded up or anything. Um, which is kind of logical, but I'm glad I made sure just to be sure. And then um, this will also be sanded down. I'm going to sand all of this as well. It's going to stay a whitish cream white or some sort of white, maybe slightly off white. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm also going to paint that, but something creative. I have no idea what yet. Good news. Okay, so I have just learned that this is silky plaster that's gone all around the room in a thin layer. Silky plaster to make it all smooth because silky cement does not exist. <laughs> so it is silky plaster. And this is gonna require a base coat before I um, paint it. And that base coat is called um, Grund. So I'm gonna be using Grund base coat to do one um, layer all over. And then I'm gonna take paint and mix the paint with a bit of water and then that will go on top of um, the grunt. Two layers. Here we are outside, outside tap. And look at all this ice. Uh, massive piece of ice. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Amazing. So this was running just now, so it might or might not have been frozen and then unfroze but it's definitely running. Don't know where this water is going, but anyway, very exciting. And there you can see some rubbish being burned. <sighs> Look at all the space. So great, so great, great. That's where they were growing tomatoes, tomatoes. And this little fence is coming down. It's all rusted and in my opinion, useless. So here it's already taken down. This will be removed later. And that fence over there as well. Hopefully that fence as well. Yeah, I'm gonna take out down the rusty fences except for perimeter. So that will be really nice. They're gonna burn most of that as well, I'm guessing. What a beautiful day. I wonder what tree this is. Maybe it's a walnut tree, who knows? Don't know. 
not too many trees there's a white a tree over there maybe it's a birch not sure but not too many trees on this property uh, that's still on the property the property extends up to this um, fossen over there so that tree is still on the property I'm going to remove this little fence there there's still a ton of space over there as well it's great so when I said not too many trees, I mean this tree here and then there's tons of these grapevines. I would love to know how old this grapevine is. It's just amazing. Uh, so yeah, it's mostly grapevines on this property with roses. Not actually fruit trees or anything like that. So I'm definitely going to get some fruit trees. And this is still part of the property. Right up till there. All the way over here. Across here. All the way down there. Yay! What a pretty little house. They're going to start up on the roof again tomorrow. And then it'll probably take maybe three days, I'm guessing. Cement mixer. Ah, good times, good times, good times. Okay. So what I would love to do is from here, I'd like to have a driveway that goes right down this way. And then this space will be cleared. This is going to be taken down. And then there's a big parking space over here. Uh, take down that crappy fence. All of those crappy fence are all going to be just take it down. And then it's just going to be massive open space. It looks smaller on camera, but it's a big space. I'm really, really happy right now. Yeah, so then I wouldn't have to drive around here all the way there. I can just drive straight down here. Pretty good. Okay. So there's another tree on the property. That's a walnut tree, probably. Um, so yeah, nice trees all around. And there's my neighbors. Neighbors. It is extra frosty. Or oh, it was extra frosty overnight. It's just complete ice. Totally frozen. Totally frozen. Okay, guess where I am. In the kitchen. And I'm going to be painting. <laughs> so, um, I'm so lucky. Fire is on and also heater. So, I'm going to be really comfortable. And look, lots of wood there. <laughs> lucky. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be painting this room and then once this room is done, I'm going to be moving to the bedroom and one layer of white paint today and then let it dry overnight. I'm going to do ceilings as well. Painting day, painting day. So I'm putting out this um, cloth that I found um, to protect the floor a little bit. And if I can wash up some messes, I'll do that with my bucket of water. And I've got lots of wood and the fire is going and it's getting nice and warm in here. Also using this for now, a little tiny heater. Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting nice and warm so it's feeling very comfortable. And I am going to be painting the walls one layer and also the ceiling one layer of white today. Um, in all four rooms, bedroom, kitchen, hallway and bathroom. And then um, I'll let it dry overnight and do the next layer tomorrow. Okay, I have painted this room. It's got one layer of paint on it. Also painted the ceiling. It's still wet, so it looks patchy. But it's all painted. So this will be cleaned up later. That's cement. Um, it'll be, the floor is going to be sanded down, so no problem. And the stove and the heater and the fire is going nicely. You can see a little glow in there. It takes a lot of wood. I've gone through quite a bit, but it's good. Two o'clock now, so I'm still going to do the other room. Um, the bathroom and then I'll probably call it a day.